Welcome my dear viewers. In this video, I will show you, how to add the second LAN port, to MicroTik router. Make failover and load balance using, NTH. Assume the network topology as shown in figure. If this is the first time you visit my channel, subscribe to my channel, and activate the notification bell, to be notified of new videos. Also, you can watch the video for, how to configure a MicroTik router, to access the internet. The link in the description box below, and appears now on the upper right corner, as suggested videos. Now let's start adding the second one port. Select the port you want dedicated to the second one. Name it. Navigate to address, and configure the IP, as shown in the topology. Navigate to routes, and configure routes for the second one. Navigate to the firewall, and configure NAT for the second one. I disabled the one one interface, to test the second one connectivity to the internet, and the speed. The upload speed is around 62 Mbps, and the upload is around 9 Mbps. As you see, the two ones are working now, the blue color means it is a backup. And it will be automatically activated when the active one fail. Let's disable the active, and see what will happen to the blue. As you see it is automatically activated, without any drop. That means the failover is working correctly. Now let's start configuring the load balance using NTH. Consider the LAN address, as shown in the topology. Navigate to the firewall, we will create 4 mangle rules. 2 mark connections and 2 mark routing for the LAN. Now let's create routes, for these two mark routing. Test the speed now. Wow, looks good. Congratulations, 
the load balance was successfully done. As you see, the total speed now is the combining of the two wands. I will download a file to test speed as well. Next video, I will show you, how to configure a hotspot for the Mikrotik router. Don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bell. Thanks for watching.